Welcome to the Quick Start Guide for the Matricon OPC server for Modbus. My name is Roger and I'll be your guide today. This video is designed to help you with the installation and configuration of this product. Firstly, please ensure that you are logged in to Windows as an administrator user. Start by running the installation program. If any prerequisites are required, the installer will prompt you. Read and accept the license agreement. The installer provides the option to customise the installation, or you can just accept the complete installation. You can change the installation location, and customise the start menu folder name. This screen allows you to customise the OPC security password. Most users will not require this, so we recommend that you leave it as the default. Choose your license situation and then click Next. Click Next to begin the installation. This part may take a while. When the installation is completed, this window appears. Click Finish to close the installer and open the configuration panel. Depending on your screen resolution, you may have to maximise this window. This is important so that you can access the Apply button. Click the New Node button, then choose the option that suits your connection type. For this example, we will be connecting to a Modbus PLC via Ethernet. Ensure the PLC is configured as a Modbus slave. Connect the PLC to the same network as the PC and ensure that the communication is possible using tests such as the ping test. If there is a firewall between the PC and PLC, please ensure that port 502 is open. Next, give your device link a name, or you can leave the default. Note that the tag names will be prefixed by this item name. I'll call this Sump Pump. Next, enter the IP address of the PLC. I'm using localhost because I'm connecting to a Modbus simulator that is installed on my PC. Confirm the TCP port number. If you are not sure, leave this as the default Modbus port number, 502. Enter the Modbus address of your PLC. If you are not sure what this is, because your PLC documentation does not specify a value, please use 1. Click the Validate Items button if you are connected to your PLC. When you add items in your OPC client, the OPC server will check if the items exist in the PLC before allowing them to be added. The rest may, may be left as the default values. Notice the automatic tag configuration drop down menu. If you are connecting to an HC900 PLC, please select it here. If not, please leave as none. Then click Create. You will see that a new device has been added to the left hand navigation tree. Because this OPC server runs as a Windows service, we can now close the GUI as the configuration is now complete and the OPC server will continue to run in the background. To check the data coming from the OPC server, we will use the included free test tool Matricon OPC Explorer. 
Open OPC Explorer from the Windows Start menu. Connect to Matricom OPC Modbus. Click Add Tags. Then expand the folder for the register type you wish to add. In this case, I want to add a digital tag. So I'll expand file type 0. Notice that this OPC server does not contain a browse list. Hint items are provided instead. If you wish to build your own browse list, this can be done using the built-in alias functionality. Please search the user manual for aliases for more information on this. For this example, we will show you how to add the raw tag. Click once on the hint tag to copy it to the item ID field. Remove everything after the colon and replace it with the register number you wish to add. It is important to mention at this point that there are suffix codes built into the OPC server for these tags. These suffixes allow such functions as swapping the word order of a register or combining two registers together. Please search for OPC data items in the Matricon OPC server for Modbus user manual, which can be located in the Windows Start menu. Once you have modified your tag correctly, click the button with the right pointing arrow on it to move the tag to the tags to be added list. Then click OK or the green tick button up the top left. If you have successfully connected to the PLC, the qualities will be good non-specific and the tag values will match what you have in the PLC. This leads us into this video's pro tip. Some PLCs use a start register of 0 instead of 1. Therefore, if the register you enter returns data that appears to be incorrect, please return to the add tags area and try decreasing the register number entered by one. And this concludes the installation and configuration of the Matricon OPC server for Modbus. We hope you enjoy this product. If you require technical assistance, a user manual has been provided in the Windows Start menu under Matricon OPC Modbus Help. Or you can contact the friendly team at Matricon OPC Support at www.opcsupport.com or email them at support at matriconopc.com.